Hey everybody, welcome to this week's appetizer. And this week we're looking at Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and the two people joining me, Yuri, the best guy on the whole site, are in the left corner, Will. Thank you, thank you. And in the right corner, Craig. Hello! I try not to laugh so hard for some reason, for the first 10 seconds, I try not to laugh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just decided. So, uh, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, and we start off with a cutscene. So, first off, what is Assassin's Creed Brotherhood? I personally see it as Assassin's Creed 2.5 or 2.6, we want to call it. It feels like an expansion, it's, but it's not though. It's so much more than an expansion. It's a uh, it's a, I know it's hard to describe, it's a sequel but at the same time it's not the big difference between the first and second game, you know. It's kind of like the second part of the uh, Ezio story pretty much, you know. It's not like a fucking add-on, because I, I remember hearing somewhere that this story is a... Uh, they wanted to fit into the main game, but obviously too big so they didn't do it, so I guess they tried to create a sequel. Yeah, the, the whole place takes, to, takes place in Roma this time around, and then that's the, the, like, the last part of Assassin's Creed 2, like, like Amazing. one sequence of it, like stretched out into a full game, basically. Did not house the terrible yeah. This is good. It, and of course, you know, Desmond's story is carried on, and 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 actually, though, you know, that relationship between yes, them, uh, the Scooby-Doo gang, <laughs> yeah. uh, pretty much has been fulfilled a bit better. They got to know them more. Like you know, when you. Cause they, because now you can leave the animus anytime you want, and you can just check PvP emails, talk to them. You kind of get to know the, the gang better, which is much nicer to know, and kind of, and also especially make get to get to explore a place outside, which is kind of nice to see a modern day look at the vi uh, 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 look at the villa from the second game. It was quite nice seeing cars and street signs and gates. <laughs> All modern in 2012, I believe that where yep. the game takes place. So, yeah. so uh, this is the same flashback deal, right? Yeah. Well, flashback. Well, more like reenactment. Re more like because he didn't really experience it. It's at us. So it's kind of pretty much. Yeah, he's back in the animus to try and find out where the Eden is kept. Because in the second game, he's already can, uh, gone through the bleeding process. The bleeding effect, you know, he like he learned edges like abilities by the animus. Yeah, so nice. we're here at the uh, the intro part of the uh, the cutscene, and then um, gonna get into the main story here. And this is the very beginning of the game, right? Yeah, you kind of start off with all the weapons and stuff you accumulated from Assassin's Creed 2, right? Yeah, actually, I've noticed that it kind of yeah. It Oh no, it doesn't, because I thought for me, like, it kind of carried over what you yeah, had in the first I, game. Yeah, I thought it so. It did that but then again, I realised he had the exact same money I did, so I thought, oh, that's oh, a shame. Yeah. That would be quite nice, because. Yeah, because I, I bought the armour, had about that much money, and then I realised, shit, it doesn't carry over. Yeah, that's kind of a shame. It, yeah. Well, like, it matters, because everything gets set to zero anyway. <laughs> yeah, um, so Katarina Sforza is one of the um, main characters in this game. And Ezio has, um, relations. <laughs> yeah, she's Ezio's bitch. <laughs> if, if I want to be a gangster rapper. <laughs> but... I don't know, I felt like the story. So the story is kind of... This is about, um, Assassin's Guild, right? The Brotherhood uh, of Assassin's. The Brotherhood. Sort of, yeah. It's about Judge... <laughs> well, pretty much, the, as, as you're going to see in a minute, the villa gets attacked and you kind of go to Rome to avenge what happened. Mm -hmm. And pretty much, you go through there, you kind of track down the Borgia, you know, pretty much the, the son of the Pope. Pretty much. The, was it his name? Rodrigo? Yes, yeah, Rod Rodrigo Borgia. Yes, Rodrigo and Cesare yeah. are kind of the main villains in this game. Yeah. And what I quite like though, because what I quite like with the. Everything that happened sort of it's actually surprisingly act well true to the to the history to the his history. Okay, of course things have changed when Etrian involved. <laughs> like one part towards the end has changed, but sort of how it kind of gets there, like people being ill. Of course how they get ill is different to what history says, but you know the whole well, the whole game is kind of like a giant conspiracy theory, it's kind of noticed especially especially dead so especially it the has Desmond the Metal Gear syndrome basically. 
Well, really, the well, actually, but really, but the, the Desmond parts really uh, really remind you of the Da Vinci Code, like sort of sussing again. codes and trying to do stuff. It kind of has a very Da Vinci Code yes. sort of s to it, and it kind of <laughs> happened, but and but and by the chance things happen to be the during the same time period. Yeah. So I g the main point of this story is that Probably you're building a creed of assassins, and that happens in, through the assassins guild introduced later on. But that's part I had the most fun. That that was the best new feature of this game that I thought. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the assassins is great. Stay out of sight. And yeah, Ed, uh, Ezio's villa is getting attacked here. <laughs> Oh look, I'm not gonna spin. Oh yeah, it's the exact same bit they showed at E3. Hey. <laughs> it's the final, it's the final build. So yeah. you don't, you don't hear like stage actors. So. <laughs> Deja vu. Great. <laughs> so yeah, Mario. Idiots are idiots. That's how you really see it. If you're the internet brotherhood of assassins, what did you expect? Uh, I don't know, so it's kind of This beginning part is gonna be a little action packed, right? We aren't yeah, sure it's much, any it's kind of right now, should have the combat. Kind of lame. <laughs> but that's actually, okay. Yeah, but really it's odd that, no, that's it, this game does focus more on the combat. Even though it's a game about the... Because I guess the first game and the second game kind of, kind of perfected the parkour side of things. So kind of, they didn't need to change much, so they really focus on combat. Like, you know, attack people much better on horseback. Right, yeah, you can uh, you can like stand up. You can and, like yeah, you can street kills together, which is like, quite nice. Like if you uh, counter someone, then as long as you in, and if you use a direction button and a tap button towards the enemy, you can uh, street kills together. Like pretty much do like kill ten people in like thirty seconds mm -hmm. if you're if, if you're enough really good timing and you can block enough time. It's actually quite hard to master, but it's actually nice. But still, though, the enemies still have the same thing of you know just circling you, standing still. Though, 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 you can taunt them to get them to attack you sooner, but I know it's still kind of they still need to improve the uh, combat AI. The combat's fine, but they need to improve the AI of the enemies. Yeah. Mm, well, despite still that, the same will kind of messed up a few jumps back there. So thank you. Let's <laughs> talk a little bit about the control. Are they slippery? The Are they good? There's exactly the same. So the previous games, it. They work well, but there are frustrating moments, like if you accidentally uh, nudge and the yeah, it they start are. slightly less than you would, they will just should really who is going to fly off. It was annoying for those more platformy set, like Prince of Persia style sections. And, uh, and especially that really frustrates me towards the end when you're playing the Desmond going across places. That got really annoying. I, just, I was literally shouting at the TV screen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's the, it's the automatic nature of the platforming that, like, when it's yeah, time this jump, but I hope it gets me in the hmm. di direction I want to. Instead of like well, for the most way. part, it works. You know, it kind of like the best parts with the Demetrius office and the chase sequences because everything is sort of set up so you can make one continuous loop of stuff and you just hold down the buttons and just go flying forward. Cause, and those are the best sections that should reach off the parkour. It's just the uh, part more more platformy the parts, but it kind of really starts to show that it needs slight tweaking. Mm -hmm. Not sure, ha not sure how, but <laughs> it does. They love about like cannon section is more like the um, when you get on Leonardo's war machines and stuff like that. Oh yeah, war machine parts. Yeah, that's bit kind of shows the more advanced of gameplay. Yeah, you can, you can get the the flying machine comes back, but instead of it's a bomber, which you can use to use the big fire from the exploding bombs to keep yourself in the air constantly. There's a tank. Yeah, there's a um, tank. And then there's Naval, a chariot yeah, with a machine gun. So well, pretty much said they're this based game on is, is this really about assassination? Because I'm hearing cannons and tanks and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does seem like the assassination side of things has been pulled back a bit. I can notice that. Like in the first game, you know, it was nothing about assassin assassination, and that's what made it got boring. The second game, it was a nice variety, but in this game, they really sort of put focus on a. More I the don't know, side everything missions, else. and then bringing them out into the. There was only a couple of missions where I felt like they were like Assass 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 Assassin's Creed One style. Uh, it's all focused fight. on yeah. The whole like, like, like the sort of you know, the giant build up, a giant a giant area full of enemies. You have to hide and try and follow them and find a nice perfect route to attack them. And there was very few missions like that, and those are some really 
best the, the best missions in the game when they are proper like assassinations, where you avoid the guards and avoid being detected and. Yeah, but now you can have yeah. your assassin skill do that for you. And oh, you that's actually very useful. It kind of makes it a bit easier. Still. But in a good way, not easy in the, oh, 